morning children so in our last class we learned that there are five main nutrients they are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals so carbohydrates and fats are give us energy so they are called energy giving food protein help in growth and development of the body so they are called body building food vitamins and minerals protect us against diseases so they are called protective food then we also learned about water and roughage we also learned about balanced diet right we must eat balanced diet what is balanced diet do you know what balanced diet is when there is essential nutrients like carbohydrate fats proteins vitamins minerals roughage and water in correct proportion in correct amount then that diet is called balanced so it is called balanced diet okay so there is a food pyramid here so you can see that we need lots of carbohydrates then you can see we need vitamins and minerals then proteins and less of fats and oils so let's see what is macronutrients and what is micronutrients you all know that we need carbohydrates fats and proteins in large quantities so that is called macronutrients and we need only little bit amount of vitamins and minerals in small quantity so they are called micronutrients so that is the difference between one we need more and one we need less macronutrients and micronutrients okay learned of how to improve our healthy eating habits and what are the ways to make our diet healthier so in today's class we will be learning about diseases so what is a disease do you know what disease is yes when our body or a part of our body does not function properly then we say we have disease that's a condition so you might be knowing that when you have fever what happens to you you normally don't get up from bed right you feel very tired you feel very sick your body is very weak and tired so that condition you can say it's a disease it's an illness so diseases can be of two types that's what we are going to learn one is deficiency disease and another one is lifestyle disease okay so there are two types are there deficiency disease and lifestyle diseases so first let's see what deficiency disease is we know that in our body does not get any nutrients properly or if it lacks any nutrients then we may suffer disease so the disease that are caused by the deficiency of a nutrient in our body is known as deficiency diseases and what about lifestyle diseases lifestyle diseases are caused when you eat too much of junk foods like pizzas burgers chocolates sugars fried foods if you are taking too much of that then we then the disease cause is called lifestyle diseases so we'll discuss about lifestyle diseases later so let's see about the deficiency disease okay okay there are some of the deficiency diseases are given here so here see night blindness vitamin a carrots papaya green leafy vegetables mango milk fish and eggs so now let's see about the deficiency disease i'll discuss these in details so let's see the first one now the first one is night blindness the cause deficiency is vitamin a so it is a condition where you cannot see at night so our big eyes become very dry so what is the source what can provide us with nutrients so that they can help to regain the night blindness what are they so you need to have milk carrots green leafy vegetables mango fish egg see these are the sources there of nutrients that can help us to recover from the night blindness next one is nutrient deficient is vitamin b1 the disease caused is very very and what are the symptoms do you know what are the symptoms you feel very tired then you will lose your appetite that means you don't feel hungry at all then weakness of the nerves these are the causes so what should we have to cure them you know we should take food 
that like brown rice, milk, meat, cereals, green vegetables, etc. Okay, so that are the things that we have to have. Now let's see the next one, vitamin C deficient. When you are deficient with vitamin C, what is the disease that will cause? Scurvy. The scurvy is a disease that is called the symptoms like swelling and bleeding of gums in the mouth. You know, vitamin C is very important for our growth. So if you don't have enough of them, there will be swelling and bleeding of the gums in our mouth. Okay. So in order to avoid, what should we have? Citrus fruits, tomatoes, you know what amla is? Gooseberries, okay, nellikya, green leafy vegetables, etc. So we can see, here we can see the picture of scurvy, see? This is what happens if you don't have enough of vitamin C. There will be swelling and bleeding of gums. Okay, now let's see the next one. The caused by vitamin D and the disease is rickets. See, here you can see the picture. Look at the child's leg. It's very curved, right? Curvy leg, right? Yeah. Because if they have weak bones, that's why it has gone curvy. Now let's see that. So, vitamin D, the deficiency disease causes is rickets. The disease caused is rickets. So, how do you recognize vitamin deficient people? How do you recognize them? Yeah, as I told you earlier, they have bow legs okay bow shaped legs and they have weak bones and teeth so we should take foods like what should we do to avoid them we should take food like milk egg and also get early sunlight so early morning sunlight also is good to improve next one is anemia so anemia is caused deficient of iron in our body so it is a condition that develops due to the deficiency of iron. So patients will feel very tired, they appear pale, they will feel short of breath and may develop heart problems. So the iron, if you don't have enough, then less hemoglobin in blood is what happens. So this disease can be treated by taking diet rich in iron like green leafy vegetables, liver, meat, spinach, jaggery banana apple okay so these are the things that we can use next one is calcium what is the happens with calcium poor development of bones and teeth so we already know that if we, um, if we don't have enough calcium in our body then our we'll have a lot of pain in our bones and the teeth will break and these are the causes and how we can cure them we just need to have a lot of milk and milk products Okay, next one is deficiency of iodine and the disease caused is goiter. So, iodine causes goiter that is swelling. If you see the picture, can you see the swelling of the neck? That is the main symptoms. See here? Mm -hmm. So, what should we do? We should take iodinized salt and seafood. Seafood means fish and all those products. Okay, and you should have iodinized salt. Then the last one is kosher cut and caused by the deficiency of protein in the body. So if we can see the, see the child here. So what happened to the child? Can you see? What is he holding? He is holding his tummy, right? And then look at his belly. Look at his belly. It's all swollen up. And what about his legs? Yeah, what about? He is looking very thin, right? So, the disease is, this disease is kosher kar. And do you know the symptoms? Yeah, the symptoms we have seen, that swelling, need, okay, swelling. And also, people also have diarrhea and they are very, very tired. They, they don't gain weight, okay, they lose weight. So, we have to have food that are rich in protein, like eggs, meat, pulses, milk, dairy products and soya bean. So now let's see about lifestyle diseases. I already told you lifestyle diseases are caused when you have lots of junk food, fried foods mm -hmm. like pizzas, burgers, french fries. If you have sweets, cake, if you have them too much, then that's called lifestyle diseases. Why do you think they are caused? Because they have high calories and our body cannot digest these calories easily. 
it may be it damages our body so that's why we say that we should not have junk foods okay so let's see about obesity and diabetes so these are the diseases that cause so let's go with obesity first eating too much of carbohydrates and fats lead to a condition called obesity what happens if you are going to eat junk food and unhealthy snacks and you don't take any exercise what happens to your body the unused carbohydrate and fat will get stored in our body right for example let's see like children young children like you if you don't uh, play you just eat these junk foods and sit and what happens you become more obese and what happens if you become obese you will get diseases the next is next we will discuss about diabetes so it is a disease in which your blood sugar level that is blood glucose level become too high so where do you get this glucose from we get that from our food that we eat okay now let's see what are the symptoms of having diabetes so people with diabetes will have blurry eyesight that is their eyesight will not be very clear then they will be feeling hungry often then the sudden loss weight they will lose their weight very suddenly they will always feel thirsty frequently they have to urinate these are the symptoms of diabetic patients then another one is eating too much of salt and processed food lead to high blood pressure so let's see what are the symptoms of high blood pressure so people with high blood pressure will have severe headache their vision again the vision problems will be there they will have difficulty in breathing they will feel very tired fatigue then in between they will have chest pains they will have pounding in their chest neck and ears then sometimes they can see blood in the urine and also irregular heartbeat see don't eat too much of pickles okay they have lots of salt content in it so another one is some diseases may also be caused due to the presence of harmful substances in there like smoke or fumes which may lead to the cough and affect the lungs and heart these may also be caused due to the bad habits like smoking have you seen the people who smoke yeah then you will be able to understand and people when they go near the these people start to cough so these are the deficiency disease and lifestyle diseases we discussed then the next class we will be learning about the food alteration so for today children 